Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And uh, as you can see, very relaxed fit code blog here today. Uh, as you know, everybody is aware of the current global situation. Uh, things have been a little bit chaotic, so I apologize that I am unshaven, wearing a hat and largely sort of disheveled. Uh, but I did want to talk about this as I was doing it, and I was going to be doing some coding work, so I figured, hey, might as well turn on the camera and embarrass myself visually and show you what I'm doing. Before we get started, I do want to turn off my email notifications. Uh, I do want to show you the uh, color theme that we're using is Scarlet Protocol from the Cyberpunk theme package. There's also this Umbra one, which is really nice too. I like jump back and forth between these two really cool themes. People always ask about that, get it out of the way. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is this neat little transition that we're doing, okay? Here is the uh, Level Up Tutorials account page. And as you can see, we bop between different uh, account pages like so. And I have built in a nice little abstraction for my animation. So I wanted to do an animate on this. And instead of coming into our routes, wrapping everything in an animate presence, and then wrapping each route in their own individual animation, like you would do uh, with, you can see they're not here, like you would do with a frame error motion animation, especially with React Router, I figured I would take the opportunity to abstract it. Why? Well, when you're doing animated routes in frame error motion, what we do, it's, it's really easy, by the way, this is probably the nicest thing. You bring in the location from use location from React Router, you bring in an animate presence, you, you know, you give it some different props here, and then you pass in the location to switch, and you also need to pass in a key. And then in addition to that, each route needs to be wrapped in its own thing. You'll notice that none of these routes have that wrapper, which is of course why there are no animations going on here. Well, I had this sort of, well, this sort of way that we're doing this and I'm using it all the time. So I figured, hey, why not abstract this into their own animated routes and route transitions components? Because we don't often think about taking someone else's library, i.e. React Router, wrapping it in our own thing and then using it as our own sort of interesting way of doing this. So I figured I would show my animated route transitions uh, wrappers and how they can be used. So what I wanted to have is I wanted to have the ease of use of React Router where you have a switch, a route, and the component. I didn't want to have to deal with the motion.div wrappers and I didn't want to have to deal with the animate presence. So I created two components of which are animated routes and route transition. And so you can see here, what we have is sort of a mashup of React Router and um, Framer Motion where animated routes is if we take a look at this is simply just an animate presence wrapped around a switch statement. Basically, exactly what we have here, animate route in the switch. In addition to that, we're passing in the key from location to path name and we're passing in location to location and use location. And what this does is it allows us to clean up our imports dramatically. You'll notice that here we only need to bring in these two things rather than bringing in React Router, bringing in the hook, bringing in Frame or Motion. We just bring in these components, right? So route transition is simply just animate presence, switch, and then passing the children in. It's basically sensible defaults. Next, we have our route transition, which is really just uh, very basic, and I can make these components available. If you are interested, I can make these components available. What it is is basically a route as well as a transition. Now the transition is simply just a div. These are both in the same file, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, the amount transition is really just a, another component that I abstracted out, and it's really just a motion.div. This has sensible defaults, opacity zero, slide Y, slide up. And this way I can pass in some X, Y properties if I wanted to slide in from the left or right, up, down, whatever, okay? So let's get this thing going in a very basic manner here. I have this animated routes like this, 
and these route transitions, and how do we convert this over? Well, it's very easy. We can copy this line here and paste it in and bring in my animated routes. And instead of having an animated presence with all this stuff, we do want to leave the exit before enter and initial false uh, because, well, I wanted to be able to change those. And maybe in the future, I'll have those be some sensible defaults. So I'm going to change animate presence into animated routes. I'm going to remove the switch statement because that's bundled into this. Like I said, it's really just like bundling a couple of components up, right? The animated routes is bundling up the switch and the animate presence. The route is now going to become route transition, which bundles a motion.div as well as the route component. So I can also bring in the route transition and we can change this route to be route transition. Route transition. And you can come up with your own names or whatever. I just came up with these names and that's it. So you can see I just replaced the switch and the route components with my own animated ones. And now with a very little effort, and honestly, those components took me no time to write anyways, with very little effort, you'll be able to see here, boom, check this out. Animated route changes, easy, nothing to it. Absolutely nothing to it. Um, we're getting some unique ID stuff. Don't worry about that. Uh, and if like we wanted to do some interesting little animations here, like if I wanted to slide this in from a different side, I can do slide, you know, let's say slide 50. Let's do dramatic. Let's do something dramatic. This is going to be fun here. Why not? I'm doing a, a blog. Let's actually add this into all of them here. Space, enter, save. Now this is going to slide over from the side and slide back. Again, these are our defaults. What I don't want to do is I don't want to bloat this thing into being a giant library full of a ton of stuff, right? I want it to be what I'm using it for and nothing more. So I'm not going to have a whole bunch of props for like motion X, whatever, to pass this into here. I'm just going to say, hey, slide in from the left or slide up or down. Click, whoop, 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 whoop. And now it's like, it's a pretty interesting here. And again, I did this whole slide up thing. I might make this slide up 30, the default that you're seeing over here in the service center version of this. But, uh, you know, we can do a find and replace, find, replace, slide up 30. I like this 30 a little bit more, slide up 30. Oh, no, did I... Uh, Let's undo that. I have this maintain case thing, preserve case. I don't want to preserve case. Why are you doing that? Slide up. Now it's going to do a little whoop, whoop, whoop thing, and it's going to be really easy. So again, I can make this code available in uh, some gists, 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 whatever they're called. I can make it available in those. Um, it's not really anything worth publishing a library. It's just a frame or motion component. And here we have some very basic, no effort, React Router, Route Transitions, and they're so reusable. In fact, we don't even have to change our React Router code. We just change the name of the component, where it's coming from. And now, look at all this stuff I can get rid of. I'm all about getting rid of stuff. Um, and we can even get rid of this use location, clean that up a little bit. I'm not using that anymore. Boom. Bingo, bango. Super cool. Okay, so I thought that I would just record this quick video. I made this components last night. and felt like it was something worth showing off. So let me know what you think of this code blog. Uh, sorry for my visual appearance. I will clean myself up um, and obviously uh, continue working on this stuff. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.